diffusion, and you know, pretty much the effects go away within a few seconds. But it has a half-life of about, I think it's 10 seconds, and that's why if you wait 30 seconds, all the effects should be gone. You guys heard that one before? Now, for LexiScan, LexiScan is supposed to target only the A2A receptor, which controls the coronary artery, only. So that's why they liked it. There's supposedly no minimal side effects. Um, it only opens up the coronary artery, um, relatively short half-life. Uh, but again, um, it's very expensive. Okay. Like I said, $250 versus maybe $30, okay? But um, one thing that you all have to remember is whenever a patient is having a problem with any of those um, pharmacologic stress agents, we have one universal antidote for it. No, not caffeine, but close. Um, aminophilin. Yeah, any aminophilin, yeah, what it basically does is it blocks the receptor and so it stops the action almost immediately for any of those three. Uh, Dipritamide is the longest acting one. It's good you know, to keep on creating problems for about a half an hour or so. Okay, now dobutamine is a different one. Dobutamine is what they call a catecholamine. So it's like epinephrine. Yeah, basically it, it's like, you know, here, yeah, it, it, it's an inotropic, chronotropic uh, stimulant which means it's like putting the patient on the treadmill and making them run, okay? And what we do is we start out with about 11, or about 10 micrograms per kilogram infusing per minute, and we increase the rate of we're infusing, for the amount of infusing, and that causes the heart like they're running in oh, mirror. And faster. Yeah, and it actually, you know, the, the heart needs more oxygen, so basically it's like putting them on a treadmill. So if they start having a problem with that, aminophilin has no effect on that. You have to basically give them nitroglycerin and treat them as if they're having a heart attack. Because basically that's what you're doing. Okay. But dobutamine is a, yeah, it's, it's a whole different ball. It's, it's a catecholamine. It's, it's like giving them epinephrine. Okay. Um, one of the things that you should also, well, later on when we start talking about the cardiovascular system, when we're giving the pharmacologic, you know, the adenosine, the diprinamide, um, and the Lexi scan, normally we know that it's working because the heart rate will go up, usually about 10 beats per minute, blood pressure goes down 10 beats, or 10 millimeters of mercury. That's when you know you're getting the maximum effect from your pharmacologic stress agent. Yeah, I don't know if you've noticed that when the doctor is there, you know, he's looking at the heart rate, he's looking at the blood pressure. That's why it's important to notice that and note that when you're doing this test. Because the heart rate, if I, my heart rate's 100 beats per minute, and my blood pressure is 120 over 80, when I give the dobutin, I mean, when I give the um, adenosine, okay, my heart rate will go up, but my blood pressure will go down. Okay? And then that's when I know it's working. I might go down more than that, that's why you have to constantly monitor it. Yeah, you gotta really know what medications they're taking, guys, because um, it's real easy to put somebody into shock with some of this stuff. Is it no beta blockers, right? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, you guys have enough for today? I think you got <laughs> enough for today, don't you? I'm trying to think. No. Um, I let Ashley go without. I think what did I tell Ashley we were going to have a test on Wednesday? Next week? You said we have no test next Mr. week. Mr. Singh, what did I tell Ashley we were going to have a test on next week? Do you have a quiz next week? <laughs> <laughs> you said nothing. You said no test next week. What? No test next week? How can I give you guys no test next week? Because you've been nice, today's New Year, New Year. How about I repeat today's quiz? Same thing? Yeah, I'll be similar. Half life. This isn't a memory. I'm not I trying to see if you guys have Alzheimer's. <laughs>
Is M and alpha related, related to the optimum? Yes, it is. Actually, it's, it's uh, the same thing. Uh, it's the optimum, but they, they put uh, an ethyl group with it. But any time you hear anything that has an uh, offline at the end of it, that's going to affect your your studies. You, you cannot do the study on the patient. That's why they, if you have a patient that has uh, asthma, you don't want to be using this. You don't want to be. Doing, okay, what do, what do you guys do when the patient has asthma? Dobutamine. It's better to do the butamine test. Is that the heart rate? Yeah. 80% of the maximum predicted heart rate. That's called the Bruce Protocol. How do you calculate maximum predicted heart rate? 20 yeah, yeah, 220. Or 220 minus the age. Yeah. <laughs> 220 minus the age. 220 minus the age and then times 80% or 0.8. Yeah. Teach a pet. That's in the book. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, I really, I don't mind if you guys read other chapters, or, you know, you really, I don't have a problem with that. You guys, you guys are welcome to read as much as you want about nuclear medicine. It's on all the channels. Hi, Teacher yeah, Pat. They never told me how to. What? Sell me your book and sell me your mom. You can't read them. I can't read them. Yes, Mr. 